Commemorations have begun in Darwin to mark the 40th anniversary of Cyclone Tracy. A multi-faith service has been held in the city that was destroyed on Christmas Eve 1974. Sky News Darwin reporter Dan Borsha has the details. A large crowd gathered to pause and pay their respects, remembering a natural disaster that stopped the nation and shaped a city. I am blessed that I didn't lose any of my family and I feel the ancestors were with us and kept us safe. In the immediate aftermath, there was no time to mourn, but this we do tonight. We mourn those who died. We also give thanks for those who survived and rebuilt the city. The mayor of the time, Dr Ella Stack, reflecting on the enormity of the tragedy. It was a dreadful thing to see a church just tossed aside the way it was by these dreadful winds. But as you know, it destroyed most of our homes, 90% of them. We lost our home, I lost my surgery, but something very important took place in my head that night. And I finally came to understand a little about guardian angels. Now, I know guardian angels that seem to be fading from popular view, but that night they really returned. And from the rubble, a new Darwin was born. A city still in profound depths of grief and shock. The message was a homily that was a determined one. Darwin would be rebuilt and the new vibrant and strong city would be the most appropriate memorial to all those who have been lost. The multi-faith service marks the beginning of a month of commemorations of the natural disaster which cost 66 people their lives and decimated 90% of the city. It was equal part sombre commemoration and reflections on the humorous occasions that came of the disaster of Cyclone Tracy. Reporting from Christchurch Cathedral, Dan Borsha, Sky News, Darwin.